What up YouTube? Good morning. I wanted to talk a little bit about negotiation skills and the title of this video is Negotiation Skills, a Rare but Valuable Commodity. Um, and basically I want to talk about it. I think negotiation skills have really declined um, in terms of sales, business, entrepreneurship, whatever. Um, you know, back in the day, I, I felt like there was more like my dad always had, but my dad was in sales. My dad always had books around about negotiation and how to win a negotiation, how to get the upper hand on a negotiation, and you know these negotiation tips. And um, he's a really good negotiator. And today, I, I see people suck at negotiating. I mean, there are some good negotiators and hagglers and stuff out there, but people really suck. And I, I think it's a combination of things. I think that a, a lot of people these days are like scared of confrontation and negotiation. I mean, it's not like a, an aggressive confrontation, but it's. It's a back and forth, and part of negotiation is probably trying to tell somebody that their product or service or whatever isn't worth as much as they're trying to get for it. If you're on the buying side, if you're on the selling side, someone's trying to tell you yours isn't worth what it is or why they should get a better deal or why you should give them extra, you know. Um, and I think a lot of people aren't good with confrontation, and I think just people skills in general are, are down. With everyone being glued to their smartphones and everything, and everything gets done. I mean, even, even something as simple as like scheduling an appointment or ordering a pizza. We, we do that online as opposed to, not that ordering a pizza is a negotiation, but we do that online instead of talking to someone and communicating with someone. And I think that's kind of led to somewhat of a decline in negotiating, uh, negotiation skills as well. Um, but I'll tell you what I run into a lot. I do a lot of local sales uh, through wholesaling, Craigslist, offer up, whatever. And it seems like people's negotiation tactic is basically, and this is an overwhelming negotiation tactic, not like if I'm trying to buy uh, just recently, I was trying to buy hoverboards wholesale from a guy, and uh, I think he wanted 200. I was trying to get him for 150, um, and basically, what I kind of my pitch to him or whatever was like, "Look, man, you know, this is an unbranded board, so there's really no extra perceived value." I said, "I can get these out of China for 120 dollars." Uh, add in shipping maybe that adds six bucks to a board so I can get these out of China for 126 bucks I said I will buy them from you for hundred and fifty dollars. I don't mind you making a buck I think uh, you know 50 minus 20 50 40 30. What's that like 38 bucks or 30? Yeah, 38 dollars. You're gonna make 38 dollars a board. I'm buying a hundred boards off you. You're gonna make Is that 3,800 or 38,000? Anyhow, you, you, I, I feel like 38 dollars is a respectable markup for a board especially on the wholesale level um, I would like to do business with you. You're local. It will save me time from having to order from China and have it shipped to me. It will save me risk and my stuff getting turned away by customs or whatever. So I was basically like, look, I don't mind paying you a $38 premium per board and letting you make some money um, if I'm able to, uh, you know, to, to get my boards locally and get them fast and we can do business down the road. And when you order your wholesale stuff, you put in a big order from, you know, to order from mine too and you're gonna get a better deal on your product, I'm still more than happy to pay uh, 150 a board. You know, maybe if you were paying 120 with my 100 on top of it, maybe now you'll get it for 115, so your margin you make off me is better, your margin you make off your customers is better. I think it's a win-win for both of us. And, and to me, that's a negotiation. I'm, I'm presenting my case, I'm telling what I'm willing to pay, what it's worth to me, and we can go back and forth and barter, barter a little bit. Maybe I get it down to 145, or maybe he gets me up to 155, but we, we kind of meet in the middle. What I run into a lot is people will show up and let's say, you know, someone's buying, I don't know, say, however many, you know, 25 hoverboards from me and it's gonna be five grand. People will show up and just hand me $4,800 and wait for me to count the money and tell them, you know, it's five grand, you only gave me $4,800. And then they'll, uh, they'll be, oh, that's all I got. Or, Come on, man, do it. That That's not a negotiation. Um, Something like that is not a negotiation. Shorting somebody money is not a You know, actually, maybe it is a negotiation because half the time I get so sick of so many idiots doing this in one day that sometimes I'll just be like, F it, you know, fine, take it, get, get out of here. <laughs> um, but, you know, so I, I guess, you know, maybe it's a negotiation. Maybe it's more, more successful than I think because I get so fed up with people doing it that I just take it. Although, honestly, I've gotten to the point where I'm like, you know, I, I don't care if you drove out here three hours from Wisconsin to come pick up a product from me. If you don't have the, the full amount of money, you're not going to get it. I'm going to send you on a three-hour drive back home when you wasted your gas money and stuff for everything. And sometimes people legitimately only show up with that much money 
I think thinking that I'll just let him have it. And I'll have some people like really kind of go like, you're really gonna make me run to an ATM? Yeah, you're gonna have to make you run to an ATM. The time for negotiation is before we agree on a price and you come out and pick something up. We've haggled online, we've talked on the phone, we've texted whatever, and you've settled on a price with me, and then when you drive out with me and show up, you wanna show up $300 short and, and think that I'm just gonna take it. So I, it's gotten to the point where I've gotten so fed up that I, I don't mind being a jerk and I'm like, you know, I, I won't even negotiate with them. I'll just take, take my product and you know walk back into my office and leave them standing out in the cold and if they wanna to run to an ATM and get some more money, uh, you know, I'd love to do business with them, but uh, I'm not gonna have people just shorting me, 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 uh, me money. So yeah, I mean, I guess the point is that negotiation is an art, it really is. I think there's a lot of books out there titled Negotiation is an Art. Um, it's an art that you should learn regardless of what you're, you know, you don't have to be in sales to be a negotiator. I mean, if you, anybody who's ever hunting for a job, you're negotiating your salary. Uh, anyone who's ever bought anything, you're negotiating a price, whether you buy a car, a house, um, or even, you know, buy secondhand stuff on Craigslist or whatever. Everything is a negotiation. Even in relationships, it's a negotiation, you know. What, uh, what do I need out of this relationship? What do you need out of this relationship? We come to a a compromise, but uh, yeah, I think people really lack, I think negotiation skills are are becoming kind of a lost art, so um, I don't necessarily have any great negotiation tips for you in this video, that's not really what this video is about, it. this video is kind of more just me kind of calling out what I see here, um, maybe I'll have to make a video about negotiation skills and just give some, uh, you know, some basic tips and strategies and things like that, maybe I'll write a little ebook on it or something, but yeah, I just wanted to, just something I've noticed recently, and I just kind of wanted to make a video about it, so Thanks for watching, guys. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Check back for more videos. We'll talk to you guys next time.